Punctuations. Punctuation means making points. It means putting the right kind of points in the right place so as to mark the exact length and meaning of sentences. Proper punctuation is essential in writing to enable the reader to understand what it is you are trying to say. Full stops. Full stops go at the end of the sentences that are statements. You do not put a space before a full stop but you do need at least one space after one or two spaces for purists. For example, my name is Lenny, full stop, space, I am a teacher, full stop. Question marks. Question marks go at the end of the sentences that are questions. As with full stops, you do not need to put a space before a question mark but you do need at least one space after one or two spaces for purists. For example, is my name Linny? Question mark. Space? Of course, it is. Full stop. Exclamation marks. Exclamation marks act as a full stop. It is most often used to show shock surprise, horror or pleasure. As with full stops, you do not put a space before an exclamation mark but you do need at least one space after one or two spaces for purists. For example, oh exclamation mark, ah exclamation mark, wow exclamation mark, brilliant exclamation mark. Commas. Commas point out brief pauses in a complex sentence or separate items in long list. They are useful for breaking up long sentences but only to show a natural break. You do not put a space before a comma but you do need a space after one. For example, there were lot of people in the room, teachers, students, and parents. The teachers were sitting, the students were listening and the parents were just worrying. Note: We don't usually put a comma before the word AND. Colons. Colons precede a list, an explanation or an example. You do not put a space before a colon but you do need a space after one. For example, there are two main shopping areas in Nottingham, Broadmarsh Centre and Victoria Centre. Semicolons Semicolons are used to separate two sentences that would otherwise be joined with a word such as and, because, since, unless or while. You do not put a space before a semicolon but you do need a space after one. For example, I am looking forward to our next lesson. Semicolon. Space. I am sure it will be a lot of fun. Speech marks. Speech marks are used to show the words that are directly spoken. Only the words that quote a person are enclosed by speech marks. You need a space before the opening speech mark and the space after the closing one but no space before the closing one. For example, could everyone sit down please, said the teacher. Apostrophes. Apostrophes next to the letter S indicate belonging. No space is needed before or after the apostrophe. For example, Linny's website. Capitalization. Capital letters are used for two main purposes in English. To show the beginning of a sentence, 
to show that a noun is a proper noun. The first letter of every new sentence is capitalized. For example, the postman delivered the parcel. It was very heavy. The pronoun I is always capitalized. For example, my name is Line. I am a teacher. Proper nouns, also called proper names, are the words which name specific people, organizations or places. They always start with a capital letter.